About two years ago, the National Governors Association came out with the Common Core State Standards. It was a, a large endeavor where they were trying to come up with uh, general standards for all of the states to consider to adopt for their own state standards. And so far, I think it's now up to 47 of the 50 states have adopted the Common Core State Standards. Uh, of course, we don't really agree with this idea of standardizing education all the way through, but when it is outside imposed and each state for years and years has had their own wacky version of what's expected for a first grader, what's expected for a third grader, what's expected for a sixth grader. And there are countless hours and hours and hours spent by Montessorians aligning how Montessori fits with these different state standards. When they came out with the Common Core State Standards, it made it much easier for us to focus on this one group of standards generically and then follow how each state is then interpreting it, but at least we can come to a common uh, language around how Montessori addresses those state standards. For teachers in the classroom, my hope would be that they would look at the, the whatever their state standards are and be aware of them and make sure that their children in their classrooms are meeting and exceeding them by virtue of, of the materials and activities that we are always doing in our classrooms. And with the Common Core, that that is something that is quite manageable for the typical Montessori classroom. I don't want the teacher to spend their days thinking about it. Common Core shouldn't be part of the language in the Montessori classroom on a daily basis. It should be something that we have to think about when we answer state reports, when we have to, if you're in a public setting, it's much more part of your, your dialogue and part of your professional development and, and part of what they really focus on. But in the classroom, the classroom is sacred. And we know that this curriculum is rich and is giving so much information to children at the level that they're ready for. And so while we, we adapt based on the children's needs, when we look at the typical child following the Montessori curriculum, we know that they are meeting, if not exceeding, any state standards that are put out there. One example, when we were working on this alignment of the Common Core with Montessori, we decided to focus on every three years, only every three years, so that we're still advocating for the Montessori three-year age, age groupings. And so we looked first at the kindergarten level, then at the third grade level, and then at the sixth grade level. And the kindergarten level, my favorite example of how Montessori and Common Core um, match up well with each other. One of the common core standards is that by the completion of the kindergarten year, the child should be very familiar with the number and quantities from 1 to 99. In the typical Montessori classroom, we have a whole host of activities that will not only meet this goal of 1 to 99, but take the child from 1 through 9,999. So it's, it's, it's a great way to highlight that Montessori education, yes, can meet this standard, but we also take it a little bit further because we use these great manipulative materials. And then it's, it's changing our language in the explanation to non-Montessorians so that it's translatable. We can't talk to them in terms of the materials that we use. We have to talk about the skills and concepts that our materials address in answering these questions about how does Montessori align to a state standard. Um, it does take attention to, to the kind of language that we use.